Hey guys, so today I'll be talking about Instagram influencer Caroline Calloway. I did buy this painting from her and this painting from her and the blank space is a third painting that I'm still waiting on to get and I also bought a titty t-shirt from her. It's a tie-dye t-shirt that has the imprint of titties on it. If you can't tell, that's a boo painting. Love it. Um, and I don't know if my audience is very caught up or followed her or knew, knows anything about what had been going on with her. So in January, she announced she wanted to do workshops. I was super excited, bought a ticket, was going to go because I'd been following her for years. Like, And even during the time when she just sporadically posted, like still followed her, still enjoyed watching it all the time. So when she during that time she came back up on her stories and she was posting all the time and then she was like oh I'm gonna do this she was gonna come to Charlotte and I was just like awesome I will go see you I will have fun whatever and then she announced she was canceling it and then it was all these news articles calling her scam and this and that and this and that and I was just like some of it was actual criticism and some of it was just hating on her for no reason so that's my take on it. I'm kind of like middle ground. Like I still love her, still follow her. Don't think she did anything intentionally. Like I don't think she went out of her way to scam people. Like she wasn't trying to scam people. I just think she went into it too fast. She didn't think of all of the complications that could happen. She didn't think of all the things she needed to do. She, she was too ambitious for what she could do. And then that led to a lot of problems, which led to a lot of, oh, I actually can't do this, I can't do this anymore, and which led to a lot of people being like, oh, it's a scam because you can't provide us with the things you promised. And I'm like, she's 27 living out of an apartment in New York. Like, how much do you think she can actually do? So that's, that's my opinion on that. I just think it was mismanaged because she wanted to get it done too fast but I don't think she was malicious in any type of way. So that happened. She worked through that. She's back better than ever. And then she started painting these. And that's basically what this video is going to be about. It's a review about her painting and like customer service and blah, blah, blah. Like if she's basically going to be selling her paintings and making her Instagram into a business, this is my review of her business, basically. Does that make sense? Yes, no? You can't answer. That's okay. So, she started selling these paintings, and the painting that I'm missing is a tie-dye painting. I can show you I have a picture. Because I took screenshots of all of the paintings that I bought, just so that I could go around and show everybody, like, oh, look at the cool painting that I'm getting. So, I actually really did do that, and they all thought I was crazy. <laughs> but So, this is the painting that I'm missing. This is the first one that I bought. And then I bought the second one that's on my wall right now. And then I bought the third one that's on my wall right now. And then I also bought this t-shirt that hasn't come in yet. So I think that right when she started selling these, I thought it was amazing because I, I like the paintings. I think they're really good quality. They're maybe a tad expensive for what they are. But art is defined by how much you want to pay for it. So if she wants to charge that much for it and then somebody's willing to pay for it, then it's worth that much. That's just, I, that's just how I think art is quantified. It's, you can't actually say like, oh, this statue is only worth 20 bucks. Like nobody will ever buy more for that because some guy will probably buy it for hundreds of dollars you just have to find the right guy. So, she was selling these paintings for $80. I thought that was fair, fine. It included shipping, so like $80 even. So I bought the three, I bought the first one. I was a little late because she did, it's basically like she's doing it like their auctions and her story, she posts all the pictures of them and then people will DM her and be like, oh, I want painting number nine, I want painting number 10. So I would asked for painting number 12 of the first batch, but by the time I'd asked for it, they were all gone. 
and she sent me a picture of the one that I got and she was like, this is the only one left. I haven't posted on the store yet. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll take that one. So then I immediately got that one and then she did a couple more drops before I bought these. And you just Vmo her the money. And you Vmo her the money with just saying like, oh, for painting number whatever, t-shirt number whatever. So, you know, went and did that, sent her my address, and then, you know, I got these two, and then I was like, that's strange, I bought these after I bought the first one. So I went, and I DM'd her, and I was a little, I was, too, if I'm being honest, guys, I was very concerned that if something went wrong with my order, like I never got it, or it was broken or something, well, not broken, like, if it got bent or ripped in the mail or something. I was very concerned that I would DM her and then never hear anything back because, I mean, she has so many followers. So, like, she must get so many messages a day. Like, how can she keep up with all of that? Like, it seems unrealistic for one person to keep up with all of those messages. So, I was very, in my head, concerned about, like, oh, well, if something goes wrong, will she see the message? Like, I know she's checking her messages, but will she see mine specifically? And then... Will I just be out that $80 and never get a painting because she has so many messages that she, there's no way she can read all of them? Like, I was concerned about that. But then she posted on her Instagram grid, she was like, Oh, if you have a question about your, about your painting, put a comment here and then DM me so that I know, like, so that I know who's, like, message thread to go back to and I was like okay so I commented there and then I messaged her and she messaged me right back I was super super surprised and she was very like oh which one is missing she thought I was missing this one but I was like no I'm actually missing this one and I sent her the picture that I had of it and she was like oh okay that's actually here in my apartment I don't know why it wasn't mailed to you and then she went to go look at it and she messaged me and she was like I wait I just realized why you don't have it yet it's because I accidentally almost mailed it to the wrong person so the message on the back is addressed to somebody else and she was like well I just didn't know what to do with it so I never sent it and I was just like and I don't really care because I mean it's gonna get framed so I'm not like the back's not being shown but it is a nice touch that the back is written like oh Sarah thank you for supporting the arts signed her Caroline Calloway I mean that's a very nice touch but I don't mind so much that it was just addressed to the wrong person as long as I'm the one that actually gets it. What irked me a little bit was that she just hadn't said anything before then. She was just like, oh, gonna leave it in her apartment and hope that I said something to her? Like, what if I'd forgotten? I mean, I mean, if I had forgotten, it would have been my own fault because I paid for it. But it was just like, I would have more appreciated if as soon as it happened, she just went, oh, hey, I accidentally addressed this to the wrong person. Do you still want it? Do you want a refund? Blah, 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 whatever. And then could have dealt with it right when it happened. And then I would hopefully have all three of them right now instead of waiting for my third one. But that's a very, very minor thing. And everything else seems to be very smooth sailing. Um, I'm still waiting on the t-shirt, but she's just finished mailing out the last of all of the orders so I'm hopefully I should be getting my last painting and the t-shirt very soon um so the main thing that my main criticism of her business would be it seems very not disorganized because surprisingly she seems to have been very like for as far as I can tell based on my own order she seems to have it very like going very well like getting the orders I don't know how she's doing it like I could not do it because I'm I'm assuming that she just every time somebody orders something she writes puts a sticky note on it or something with oh this person got this one this person got this one to like keep track of what goes where I'm assuming I don't I don't know but it just seems like a very hectic way to do it if you know what I mean so if if I were her, I would maybe open like an Etsy or a Redbubble or something like that to sell my paintings on. Sorry about that, my camera died. 
I'm always having camera problems. Anyway, I feel like if I was her, because she had an Etsy shop before, but she closed it, I feel like it might be easier for her to just open like an Etsy shop. That way she can post all of her paintings in one place and then there's only one place that people can like message her. It's very like you get a, you get like Etsy, I'm assuming gives you like a shipping label, stuff like that. And then it's easier for somebody to do like returns or not returns, but you know, like it's easier to handle things when things go wrong, when it's through a, a place like that. I mean, I know they take like a percentage of the sales, but it just seems like it would help with the organization into like how she doesn't have to like go into her DMs all the time and just be like, oh, there's so many messages all the time. My phone just go, oh my God, my phone is going off and going off and off. Like that seems very annoying. It, I mean, I would be annoyed. So I don't know. Like, I feel like, I mean, if she likes the way she's doing it, keep doing that. Or maybe she could open up her own like online store where she just sells her paintings where it's not separate from Instagram but just like I feel like there would be a better way to like organize it and make sure that it's easier for her to handle and then easier for her fans and patrons to like give criticism or be like oh I didn't get my order my order's late or it came bent or this I got the wrong order or whatever might come up because it's likely that things like that happen because you know the United States Postal Service is not very good but it was just it feels like maybe that would help in the long run and like prolong the business to where it make it more profitable that way I don't I mean, I don't know for sure because I've never done something like that. It just seems that way. But like I said, I mean, overall, she has been handling it great. I love the paintings. I think they're awesome. I'm sure I'm going to love the shirt. Um, I get super bummed when I really wanted like a particular painting, but I wasn't fast enough and somebody got it first. It's like super freaking bums me out. But, I mean, that's how it is. Like, even if it was posted on, like, Etsy, if somebody had bought it first and there's only one of it, like, I would still be super bummed. But, like, I feel like it would be easier for her because the site does that itself. Like, she wouldn't have to be like, oh, that one's gone. Oh, that one's already gone. Like, just messaging multiple, multiple people multiple times throughout the day to do that. I don't know maybe I'm just overthinking it that's just me but overall I've said that I've said overall way too many times in this video I'm a failure but I love her I love her writing style I think she's amazing I wish I could write like that I'm trying sometimes not enough but I try sometimes um, I love her paintings I We'll probably buy more if she paints more. It doesn't have to be boobs. I mean, if it's boobs, go ahead. But And overall, it's it's worked out. Like, I've gotten my paintings. And the one that I haven't gotten, I was able to reach out. She reached back out. So, I mean, it's worked out. And I'm glad that it's all worked out. I just feel like maybe there was there could be an easier way to where she's not doing so much work you know it just feels like doing it on Instagram like that so much work and maybe I'm just being lazy probably because I'm a very lazy person but it just feels like there might be a more what's another word for easy but not easy like a more and I'm an English major and I can't fucking think or use English or language at all like at all just something that might make it more comprehensive for the buyer and for the seller rather than just doing it on Instagram. But if that's, that's the platform she loves, that's where she's happiest, that's where she's more comfortable, keep doing it that way, girl. You're good. I just wonder if maybe your life would be easier if you did it someplace else. But can't tell you what to do. Love you. Love my paintings waiting on my last painting in the last shirt. Super excited. 
Um, and there's going to be a row of three. And then right above them is my three queens that you guys have seen in previous videos. And I'm going to say overall again. Overall, I think it's a really well-run painting business. It, they're very well-made paintings. She's a very nice person. She, so far from what I've seen, has really good customer service. So, you know, the next time you want a painting and the next time she drops a painting, go buy one. Okay? Okay. Bye.